do? Do you have a marketing and community relations update for us? I do. Um, so, one, we just, um, our existing industry spotlight was about Australia Times, which we just, you know, um, recognized CRT and um, Alpha Perfect. We thank you so much for the opportunity to be a part of showing our community what industries are located here and um, what's made in Valdosta and how it, it goes all across the world. I think that's a cool story to tell and we appreciate you being in Valdosta and allowing us to tell that story. So we appreciate y'all being here tonight and I think if you need to slip out, you're welcome to, to okay. slip out or you're welcome to stay. <laughs> no, I, I just want to say like one thing, I, mean, I want to just thank you for giving us the opportunity to work with and I think uh, everything Ellen did I think was really nicely done. For us, like, for like CRT, we're kind of new to the town, and I consider this thing as a warm welcome. We really appreciate it. Thank you. So we um, met the first week of January with our spotlight for this month, which will be Hunt Industries, and that will be in, in the Austin Daily Times coming this this Sunday. And here's the most recent one. Uh, and CJB was in December. Thank, thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good to see you again. CJB was in December, and um, Hunt Industry will be in um, in this Sunday's paper. Um, community outreach, we um, had a new team member um, start um, our, in, at the Development Authority the 1st of January, so we sent out, made an announcement, and um, that was in Valdosta CEO. We also had a site visit the first week of January, which we um, had a community presentation spotlighting um, the great assets that Valdosta has to offer. Um, Andrea has had several presentations in the past two weeks, beginning in 2015, um, with the City Council Retreat, the Young Georgia, um, the South Georgia Young Republicans. Um, Stan and Andrea were on Scott James Radio on Thursday, um, and they will also be, um, Andrea will be filming tomorrow with Valdosta CEO for a new video segment. So, we have lots of um, community outreach going on there. Also, um, since the 1st of January, um, I've been pretty active on our Facebook page, which is, a, which is a great platform for us to engage with the community um, and citizens to let them know activities that are going on around the community that um, are economic development related, are community development related, are education related, um, ways for them to get involved and, and more informed. Um, and so I've increased the um, activity on there, which has incre increased the engagement so we have more people who like our page that are liking the posts and sharing the posts. Um, and so it's a larger um, post reach. A, lar lar a lot more people are seeing what, that, what we're posting on Facebook, which is just a social network. Um, marketing, we um, had a token of our appreciation um, during the holidays that we sent to um, location advisors to our state partners and local partners um, as just a token of our appreciation. Um, and then also, um, we sent at the beginning of the first week of January a um, direct mail postcard. This kind of came about from a staff meeting we had in November where we were just kind of talking about just what, what 2014, all we worked on. Um, and I know from conversations and, and consultants that I've talk, talked with, they are interested in seeing what existing industry activity is going on so they know the industry clusters activity in each community. So we took this as an opportunity. We already had the artwork done from print ads that we had for the front. On the back, we took the opportunity to talk about our existing industries um, and the clusters they are in, their total employment, and the capital investment they made. Several consultants have said that they keep a spreadsheet with each of these information, so when they do get a project, they'll look at that industry sector and where its activity is going on. So this was a great opportunity for us just to um, highlight Valdosta and our activity in 2014. So that was sent to um, 150 location advisors in manufacturing, logistics, food, and food, and food logistics, and aerospace, sorry, I put logistics on there twice. Um, and then also 100 of our local partners. Um, we, Valdosta Spotlight will be in Georgia Trends March 2015 um, magazine. So Andrea had a interview with the magazine before Christmas. Um, and so that's being, will be in March's issue. We are looking um, at doing some artwork for an ad and that is specifically targeted to logistics industry. It will also be distributed, distributed at the Georgia Logistics Summit. 
Um, so a tar uh, industry target ad we're looking at placing in Georgia Trend with the thought off the spotlight. And then I'll also put just kind of an outline of our 2015 marketing activity, um, the calendar of, of events um, that we are sponsoring and will be attending um, that are, are in our, for our marketing plan in 2015. I will say that uh, this is catchy right here on the front of this fast track permitting, excellent distribution access, low property tax rates, and in bold it says it's all here. And that's we got it. That's, Let's tell them. I mean, really, you know, from a marketing piece, that tells me what I need to know. Really, good job, um, Mr. Ricketts. Project